Now that we know all about the three styles of art, we are going to start a project using them. Now on Google Classroom, you will find a piece of paper that looks like this. There are 12 different objects on this paper. Some of them are the correct way, some of them are turned sideways. Don't worry about that right now. But you are going to pick one object and you're gonna draw it as big as you can on your paper. Now, you do not have to choose one of these, of course. You can pick whatever you want, but um, these are just some suggestions of simple objects. And I want you to notice that even though they are simple things, they don't just have, you know, a couple of lines. They're a little bit more complex, a little bit more fourth grade level-ish. So I'm going to decide whether my paper needs to go this way or whether my paper needs to go this way based on what I pick. If it's a tree, you want it up and down. If it's a hot air balloon, you want it up and down. If it's a car, you want it horizontally. Just think about that, okay? If it's something tall, turn your paper vertically up and down. But if it's something wide, turn it horizontally. So I am going to make an eye. And I'm going to do it big. I want to fill up my page with it. There's not a ton of detail in an eye. Some eyelashes, a lid, some bottom lashes that are a little bit smaller. And you've seen, uh, we've done lots of projects with eyes in the art room before. I'm sure you've seen them when we are together in there. One thing is that the um, pupil or the iris of the eye, that's the colored part, you can't see the whole circle, the lids touch it. Okay, so I have an eye. Now I am gonna split my paper into three equal sections. Now this is a little bit challenging because bah, I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Ha, huh, no pun intended. I'm going to fold one side in and I'm going to fold the other right on top of it. And that gives me three sections of my page. You may already have guessed that my three sections, one is going to be realistic one is going to be abstract, and one is going to be non-objective. Now I'm going to make, oh boy, that's tough to see in my lighting. I'm going to make lines down Okay, so one is realistic. I pick any one of these to be realistic. I'm going to pick the middle one to be realistic because it's got the most going on. So I am going to speed this up and color that. So I have the realistic part done. And like I said, that's by far the easiest part. Yeah, there, that looks, that gives me a little bit more. Because this is the color it would actually be. Your eyes might not be blue, but you know, the eyelids, the skin, etc. So now, one of these is gonna be abstract and one of them is going to be non-objective. This is where the challenge comes in. You know that abstract means unrealistic colors, but you can still tell what it is. I'm gonna pick that for over here. So I'll go ahead and color this now. So now I have the abstract part finished. I want you to notice that I still colored really neatly. I still did my best on there. I just made it unrealistic colors. So therefore, it is abstract. And now I'm ready for the non-objective. Now remember, this should not look like an eye. So I want to 
really make this different, and that means I could add more lines and shapes in if I want to. So now I'm ready to go ahead and do my non-objective part. And now what I have is definitely an eye, but the middle one is realistic, this one is abstract, and the last one is not objective. Now, I am gonna outline the edge of my eye just to tie it together. I can only do this afterwards because I have a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, regular marker is not going to work um, over your crayon. So if you want to outline first, you can do that. I debated it before, but now I just feel like it needs that extra, I don't know, sharp edge, I guess. I don't know. And then I just got to fill this in a little more. There. Now I feel like Mine is finished. So take your time on this artist and really show off the fact that you understand the difference between realistic, abstract, and non-objective art. Can't wait to see these.